Okay. Okay, in a past video, I mentioned that uh, I wanted to place this little low cabin on this boat with a bigger cabin. And then, in another video, I showed cutting up gumdrop, a nice little 13-foot sailboat. So I got thinking, well, maybe I could use that hull in such a way to make a new cabin. Because I really don't want to build a new cabin from scratch. I don't have the will or the ambition, and I'm just not interested in doing that. So I cut gumdrop in half. As you can see here, this is the after half. And uh, I've got the forward half already up here. Now, now this isn't the first time I thought about using half a boat for a cabin top. Back when, when I built Freddy Freddy, I had what I thought was a good idea. I thought I could get like a 20 foot deep V power boat, cut the forward end off, turn it upside down, put it on the boat, and I just about have a nice forward cabin already made. Well, I got the boat, I cut it in half, put it up there, scribed it, had it pretty well fit, and looked at it and went, this is damn ugly. And I just pushed it over the side and went ahead and built a conventional cabin on it. But not all was lost because the back half of the boat made the most wonderful dump trailer which came in handy when building a 38-foot boat. Anyway, so... So, with that in mind, I thought, I don't really want to use the forward half of Gumdrop. I want to use the after half. And I was thinking it sure would be nice if I could take advantage of the flange that formed the deck. So I put it up there and kind of got it more or less the way I thought I might want it. And stood back and looked at it and went, that's damn ugly. And others agreed with that. So, I thought, okay, let me put the forward half back up here. I'm not back up, just put it up here, and see what this looks like. Well, I'm going to use it. Damn ugly or not, I'm going to use it. I'll cut it down, do the best I can to make it look okay, but this is a go. I don't want to put a lot of effort into this boat. I just want to get it in the water and go sailing. It's, it's nothing special. It's just a boat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scribe along the edge about 8 inches just to junk off a piece. And when I say junk, that means a rough cut. I got this nice little fabric marking pencil that's going to mark on this black painted area real nice. So. This is just a rough cut. You can't really scribe anything accurately at that distance. But this is just a rough cut. That's close enough to make that first rough cut. Okay. Uh, we're going to take this down. And cut it.
Okay, this is iffy at best, but I think it'll work. I'm going to make that rough cut. You don't need to watch me do that. Okay, I'm cutting out the old mass step. This isn't going to fit real close, but it was just a rough cut. Just to get in the neighborhood. Alright, we're going to put this back up on the boat and just get a sense of what it looks like. Maybe I cut too much. I'm looking for it all in the dumpster. Oh, you rolling? <laughs> okay, well that obviously is the old cabin, which was very low. If this was a racing sailboat, it's no longer going to be a racing sailboat. In fact, it's barely going to be a sailboat. It's probably going to be more of a motorboat. So we can afford to put this higher cabin on. Give us a little more room. Whoa! Check that out. I don't know why that wants to stay out like that. Can't see a good reason why. Feels like it weighs heavier than it should. In. Oh. I lost my halyard up the mast. How typical is that? Right, so yeah. Well, let's see how strong my cabin top is. Yep, okay. Strong enough. Water line were parallel with the regular water line. Looks like it could come down maybe an inch. And lo and behold, it is going to come down an inch when I rescribe it within an inch. That wants to come down an inch. When that gets scribed over that little bump in the old cabin. That should come out just right. Yeah, we're going to buy an inch on that side too. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Well, I don't think it's damn ugly anymore. It might be ugly, but it's not damn ugly. I think it's going to work. This is what I've been going for. From here to here, that's the headroom I was looking for when I'm sitting on my bunk. And then on the forward bunk, yeah, I got just about enough. So, you might catch your head just a little bit on it, but I think it's it. So now, you got this, I've got this balsa core here, and i got to do something with that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grind the, the balsa away a couple of inches and re-glass that make this edge pretty thick. 
So it'll give me a good place to fasten to the... I'm going to put a strip of either wood or fiberglass down the deck and screw it in this way so it'll be removable. And, uh, but that's for another day.